Hey guys, what's going on? Uh, now today I have another Rune Randomer. Um, now uh, I'll go for my team first. Now up front I have the uh, Inform Neymar. And then behind him Wallison, Moreno, Rossieni, um, Castillo, Manuel, Dede, Julio Cesar in goal, Abate, Felipe, and Ibrahimovic. So I'm going to look for a match. Now um there's a few things I want to talk about today and um you know there hopefully I can cover them all. I actually did a commentary yesterday but the guy just didn't want decided not to play and just stood there the whole game. So I wasn't gonna do a commentary on that just because it is pretty shit and I don't like versing people like that, how they just you know, I don't know. It's just really annoying. So um let's get straight back into it now. Uh, guys, if I go bad in this, you know, I probably have no excuse, but <laughs> I just came back from training my first game today, so, um, see how we go. Now, uh, what I want to talk about is the last run of Mandalorian. Now, the last one got, um, very good feedback and kind of bad feedback. Now, the bad feedback was everyone calling me a fanboy and saying, you're stealing the Panthers' idea and, um, basically to stop copying it and shit like that. Um, I'm actually, like... I'm not, I wouldn't say I'm very good mates with him because I don't really talk to the Panthers um, quite that often. But, you know, we, um, we're we both in Yash, so, like, I'm mates with, um, mates with um, the Panthers. And, you know, I asked him before I even started the series, and he said, yeah, you know what, it's alright. Um, you can use it. And he said it to, like, everyone, um, you know, when he first made it. He's like, if you want to use a series, go ahead. Like, it, it's pretty much giving him promotion because, you know, obviously not that much promotion just because where um don't have as many subs as him but you know it's it's still good for him and i don't understand where all the hate comes from like you know people are trying to make it on youtube that's i think that's why there's like not, an, not a decrease of people trying to go on youtube because there definitely is an increase but some people just don't do it because they get such bad feedback from people like you know you're never gonna make it like there's so many people doing it now and it's true there are so many people doing it but you know, it doesn't. It doesn't mean you have to give up and like not do it at all. And is that gonna be goal? No. There you are. All right, it's offside. Um. See, so yeah, I don't know. Um. Hopefully, this one will get better feedback. And guys, if you haven't, if you didn't notice, the Panthers did actually like and comment on the video. So I don't know. Even after that, people were still like hating on it and stuff like that. But you know. Um. Whatever, you know, a video is a video, people have their opinion, they can have their, you know, they can say whatever they think, but, um, yeah, so, it's 1-0, so, um, another thing I want to talk about is EA servers, now, EA servers, you know, everyone knows EA make a shit ton of money, um, off packs and everything, and, um, I'm not going to say how much money they make, because I'm not 100% sure, just, I don't want to get, like, you know, be wrong and look like an idiot, but, um, yeah, I know that make, everyone knows they make a shit ton of money, it's just, it's pretty obvious, um, uh, oh my god, yeah, it's pretty obvious, but I don't understand why they don't fix their servers, now, my record was, it was ridiculously good if you look on my last video, now, like, a couple of, like, I'd probably say about a week now, um, my router really started to like play up and stuff like that and I apparently it wasn't my router um, I've been getting signed out of EA servers and stuff like that and my DNA uh, my win-loss ratio I lost about probably five games in the row and then I just lost it and absolutely like just, I had enough of the game I had to get off I just I couldn't take it anymore then I go on the next day and I lose like three times in a row so I get off then I rung up like my internet provider and asked them like to send me a new modem I did that and it still happens like I don't understand why they don't fix their servers when everyone knows they're so bad like it's not only for um not only for COD but like for Battlefield and everything like that like people people still lag and stuff like that is ridiculous I don't know but um another thing I want to talk about is um the coins now with the coins, it, it's hard, like, if you guys live in England and stuff like that, you know, I can do my best. Normally, once I upload the video, I'm up for about an hour or two um, after I've uploaded the video. So, 
Um, you know, I'm always on Skype. I'm always on Twitter. Twitter's basically the best place to follow me or to um see information. Like I'll be I'll be doing like giveaways and you know little things like that on um Twitter. Like if I need a player sold, you know I'll put him off for a cheap price or just get someone to send me like a funny player's name or I don't know something like that, but something creative. And um that's basically the place where you go to um contact me now. Um, Skype also, I probably spent around an hour a day, like throughout the whole day, depending on the day, depending on what I'm doing, um, just talking to subs and stuff like that, like getting to know, um, some of my subscribers, like it's interesting, like, I've had, I've got some subscribers who are from Germany, some from like, obviously a lot from England, a lot from America, like Canada, like all over the place, I actually had a guy that subscribed to me, he's from Israel. And, um, you know, I just, I think it's amazing how people can find your videos from the other side of the world. And, um, you know, I, I just really like to get to know people and stuff like that. You know, obviously I'm not going to be answering it, like, uh, answering, like, um, messages straight away and stuff. Because I'm going to be doing stuff, like, for YouTube or, like, normally I leave my Skype on even if I'm at training or if I'm out or anything like that. But, um, yeah, so that's pretty much, if you guys want to follow us on Twitter, that's where all the action happens and stuff like that um now also with uh what was i going to talk about now the evra and suarez situation um you know i don't really want to get too much into it but uh personally you know i don't know it's it's kind of hard to say because you have to watch what you say on youtube but if i was if i was suarez i would have shook his hand just out of respect for the game um, but then, like, you know, I do understand where Suarez comes from and um, why he didn't shake his hand. I still think he should have, but, you know, uh, you know, it's it's really hard to say. Like, if yeah, you pretty much can't put yourself in the, in the position that he was in. You know, like, um, Ever pretty much almost, like, sabotaged his career and lost, like, eight. Uh, pretty much, we lost our best player for eight games, which really, really... Really, really hurt us, and you could tell by the scores that we were bringing in and stuff like that. So, oh, what would you do that for? <clears throat> so yeah, I don't know. Um, yeah, it's, it, I don't know, guys. It's just it's really hard to kind of say if you would have or if you wouldn't have. I wouldn't have in the way that he almost ruined your career and stuff like that. And then you would just for the respect out of the game and respect for the club. Like I've heard. Alex Ferguson say stuff like friggin' like he should be a, he's a disgrace in the club and stuff like that. Um, I'm not entirely sure. You know, when I was little, I didn't really watch football that much, but I've heard that apparently like ages ago, some Man U um fan like fly kicked um someone in the stadium or something like that. I I don't know. I've seen the videos before. I just you can't tell if it's a Man U jersey or not. But yeah. So, um, you know, let's just get off that topic before we start, like, any debates or anything in the comments. But, um, yeah, so another thing is tomorrow's game, Arsenal and AC Milan. I hope, you know, I want Arsenal to win just so they get distracted by the Champions League so we can hopefully get in front of them. And then I don't want them to win just because I love AC Milan and the players they have. Like, I love Boateng and... El Shawi, El Shawi, I swear that guy is going to be an absolute monster. I've been watching, you know, um, Syria a lot, especially AC Milan. I've been watching full games when I get home. And El Shawi, he's a, he's a tank. He's like 19 years old, and he's doing this ridiculous stuff. Like he, I think he's scored quite a bit in his last couple of games. So, um, you know, it's really impressive, and I hope he keeps it up because... You know, you never know, you might come to Real Madrid or something, but, um, you know, our prediction for tomorrow's game, uh, what can I say, I think, is I'm not sure if it's at Emirates or San Siro, I don't know, but um, I'm going to say it's going to be an, a draw, a uh, two-all draw if it's at um, Emirates and um, if it's at San Siro, then... I'm going to go for a 1-0 win. Um, obviously, Van Persie to score. Alex Chamberlain, if he plays. Um, 
hopefully for thing they bring on El Shari because I love watching him. But Ibra will probably score because he's like the only person who's scoring. And um, yeah, so another thing I want to talk about. Oh, wait, come on. Oh, that was so close. Um, another thing I want to talk about is. Well, that's pretty much all I have to talk about. <laughs> so, um, oh, yeah, another thing. With my squad builder, now, guys, I really didn't have any reference to go off. Like, I asked you guys in a video previously, but I didn't really get many comments on it. It was mainly about other things that I mentioned in that video. But, um, please name a squad. Just say, like, I don't know, if you want a skill squad that is cheap and... Guys, if you listen to my commentaries when I speak in and don't just see an informed name and go, oh yeah, that's heaps cheap, eh? Like, I said, like, you know, you can change the informed name for a normal name, or you can change Ibra for Jovetic and stuff like that. I know it's still it's still probably about a 100k team, but, um, you know, you're not going to get the best skillers for by, um, a, what do you call it, a cheap price, pretty much. So, you know, ah, uh, bloody hell. Uh, so yeah, I don't know. Just leave um in the comments what kind of team, oh hiccups, what kind of team you want me to make. And oh, where's a freaking foul? I want I want a free kick and some score from there. Um, so yeah, just leave in the comments what type of team. You know, if you want a pace team, if you want a uh, EPL silvers or something like that. I don't know. Um, so yeah, leave it in the comments and I'll um do my best to try and find the best team I can. Um, now another thing I want to talk about YouTubers. Now there are a lot of YouTubers nowadays on um, on FIFA, obviously. And you know I do watch a fair bit of YouTubers. You know I watch um, Ronaldinho. He's actually a Call of Duty commentator. <clears throat> I'll put all these links in the description that I pretty much watch. I uh, miss a technical difficulty. Now what he does is he um, it's pretty funny. He just gets his um gets his mates and stuff like that goes and chat roulette and tries and gets people um to flash and obviously like show their tits and shit um you know they call hookers and stuff like just and they just like shit talk to him um they're actually there is really really funny um another person i watch obviously in the panthers uh, one of my favorite uh fifa commentators um ksi obviously canis um, Jack, you know, they're, they're all my real big ones, like Jack 50, uh, Jack, uh, 45H, uh, what am I talking about, Jack 54HD and Jack Attack 45, <laughs> that's it, um, there's actually this one guy I found, and, oh yeah, and Hayes, can't forget Hayes, best skiller in FIFA, without a doubt, um, now there's this one guy that Hayes liked his video, and I went to watch it, and this guy is, he's got so much potential, to become a, like a really good YouTuber, and I don't think that he's got the subscribers that he deserves. Like this guy, you can tell by the videos he makes. He puts so much effort into his videos. Like he'll he'll do a squad builder kind of thing. He'll put gameplays in the back in the um the like not gameplays like shots and just like little runs and stuff with every single player in the team. Like he'll do um, amazing saves from keepers. Um, and he'll have the card on the side, how much he paid for him, um, their s skill moves and all that stuff. And I really, I really think he should, he should have so many more subscribers. Like he should be in the ten, tens of thousands. Um, he's pretty much like a Hayes, but he just, he puts a lot of effort. Like Hayes, you know, no one can match Hayes. Hayes is... Hayes has just changed the way people play FIFA, like, the way he just does skills and perfects every skill. The amount of scorpion kicks, um, kicks he gets and, like, the way he puts his, um, montages together is just ridiculous, but, um, you know, they're pretty much the main ones I watch. I watch other people, you know, like, here and there. Oh, can't forget the Hodge Twins. The Hodge Twins are these, um, American brothers, and they just do, like, updates. They've got their own, um... Twin muscle workout, which is just all about gym and stuff like that, like what you need to work on and sh shit like that. But they are so funny, and like guys, if you if you just go watch any of their videos or go to my favorites and just have a look at the videos I've favorited, they will you will absolutely piss yourself. It's absolutely hilarious. Like there's so many things on YouTube that you can find. Like you type in anything, and I guarantee you'll find it. And um. 
you know, oh, another thing, guys, is a lot of people have been, I'm not sure where they got the idea from, but they ask me if they can join, um, kind of Yash, and then they're like, oh, can I join Yash, like, I'm really motivated to do it, um, guys, Yash is actually, like, it's kind of, it's like Machinima, um, it's basically like a, I wouldn't, I would, I would say company, and then I wouldn't, but, like, um, basically, go to Yash.com, register, um, the main person who owns it is Kaos X Silencer, and, um, you know, he'll, if he likes your stuff, just keep sending video requests, I think it's only one every week or something like that, and that's how I pretty much got into it, um, you know, I knew Chaos, um, you know, when he had, like, no subs, at, like, absolutely no subs, and, um, I kept in contact with him, and then I sent him my videos, he really liked it, and gave me a partnership, and, um, you know, Yash community is really good and stuff like that, but, uh, that's the end of the gameplay, so I hope you guys enjoyed the game, uh, if you did, please leave a like rating, and, um, if you haven't already, please comment, rate, and subscribe.